What is up you guys? Today I got you guys for review a Benchmade Mini Bashiro 2. Now you guys do follow me on Instagram and stuff. Well most Instagram. Um you do know that I did visit Benchmade last week. Um uh, on Tuesday or so that my dad. Um as many guys should know that I am doing the Navy. I haven't received my order yet. Um, but once I do, you know, I'll keep you guys updated of that. But, um, of course, um, um, ops, um, sack, that's a matter too. So I won't fully go into detail of that, but I'll give you roughly the details of it. Um, as you can see, I do have three new stickers on the table. Um, so what happened was, uh, Knife Dude from, uh, Dustin from Knife Dude accidentally sent me sex, uh, three Benchmates that he, that, um, Dustin was reviewing at the time. And, you know, I sent him, uh, the launch one and traded my SOG, uh, Thomas XL for it, uh, for this CVV curriculum. Stay tuned for that, for the review for that too. Um, and then, you know, my, uh, my family decided, oh, let's visit my grandparents up in Washington. So we did. Check how far Benchmade was from my from my grandparents' house. It was like 45 minutes away or so. Decided to, no, why not go there? And then my dad said, okay, you can pick one knife. And this would be the Christmas present slash Navy um, getaway knife, basically. So, you know, I decided to get this. Um... As you can see, I got the free um, laser stitching on it. Uh, only reason why I did that was because, you know, boot camp, um, most likely not gonna bring this type, this style of knife. Probably gonna bring like a cheap style of knife. I might just buy like, multiple um, cheap gonzo knife because then, you know, no one's gonna be still a gonzo really. Um, well, people might, but it's cheap. I think $20 a pop, so, you know, I'll be only using $20. Um, and yes, you know that if you have followed me, you guys did see me ask people what Benchmade would they suggest for the Navy and stuff. It was mixed opinion on it. Um, this one just spoke to me, the carbon fiber and few scales. So it's much stronger than G10, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, really snappy. I, I wish I had a mini Gertillion with me right now to compare the, the, this one to that one, but yeah. But to me, this feels, you know, it's small. Um, let me see if I have a knife that I can compare it to down here. Um, all my knives is upstairs, unfortunately, after this recording this video, but I mean, um, so I had to fix this one. The, Benchmade full size barrage. This one I did bring out. Has a comparison to it. Um, you know, small, but it's like this one to me feels. You know, it's a beefy blade, but it feels small in my hands. I don't know why. It just does. But then this one, it feels like you have a knife in your hand. Um, Kind of starts jumping up here, you know, so then you have more things, but it's it's fine. Um, I didn't realize, it's not that my whole deck up, when you close the blade, it catches the palm. Now this one, depending on where you uh, place it in the palm, and how you close it, it might catch you. For me, it hasn't yet, but yeah. Really smooth. Um, I'm not taking this one apart just because I'm going to Navy and you know I need the warranty for it, so yeah. Circle blade, S3V, stainless steel, the cursor is somewhat good, but then the coating is really gonna keep it last longer ish, depending if I keep uh, maintaining it. As you can see, this is not a factory edge. Uh, I reprofile the 20 degrees on the position. I'm thinking I'm getting, getting a workshop um, 
Decision, no, the work schreib. Um, got a feel schreib on So then at least I have something. Or if, if I can't find that, I, I'll take this with me. Because, you know, I can easily maintain the... The, um, the edge of this one. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, carbon fiber and few scales. The okay, pocket clip. Might get a lens clip for this. I'm not sure that. Don't. I'm not sure if I should or not. Um. Somewhat. To me, this is, like, the more tactical version of the group Because, like, if I, you know, I wish I had my um, modded cartoon with me right now. Um, having me see the back of that. But once I do, I will compare the two um, and, and, you know, to you. But note that my main cartoon is modded and customized, unlike this one. So there's going to be new differences and stuff. But yeah, overall, it's performing as. Well, as I wanted to. Um, here's a close up on the edge. Let me see if I can zoom in for the edge for you guys. Move the lights too. So this is like a semi finish, semi meal finish. Um, I didn't want to put a, a 40 mil finish on it because you know, I still need to need to cut stuff. So, um, you know, I still need a tooth inside of it to cut stuff and catch on to material. Um, but yeah, um, it has some cut cardboard, um, it slices. Pretty nice. Um, let me see. So, yeah. So, it performs very nicely. The edge will maintain itself, hopefully. Hopefully, I can maintain this overall. Um, Maybe after my boot camp, I can show you. Uh, I'll take pictures before I go to boot camp of all my knives that I'm going to bring um, to boot camp. Probably this, the whole deck room, some other stuff, and put inside a locker room. And then um, buy some cheap knives just to you know, have it. And then uh, if someone sells it, oh well, just buy a cheap another one. You know, and then maybe when I get to a certain point, I can take this one out and, you know, but I don't know if you can see inside on it. Um, let me see. I don't know if you can tell, but I don't think you can see the carbon fiber on it. You might be able to, maybe. I have to clean it inside. There's a, there's a Q tip or something. Um, yeah. Let's just like, do a close up on it. Overall, the fit and finish is good. I might have to add some graphite coating or um, oil to this, cause I don't know if um, anyone knows, but. If, ben if um, Benchmade or I think any other, any um, other um, black coated um, axe style lock, it's going to have, most definitely going to have um, lock st um, stick, lock, st lock stick I think, what's, that's what it's called. So, um, you know. This is a flat line. It is not a hollow line, so yeah. Let me hope. There's no going on, Hank. Let me 
so this will help with the background. Let's see. So you know. Let me see this. This will kind of help with the background. This will okay, so then it shows the the knife better, and then the focusing can handle it too. Um, yeah, it's a full flat grind. Well, not full flat grind, but it's a flat grind, not a hollow grind. I uh, I do know past previous models, the 154 cm models did had hollow grinds. Um, I'll check if my, any any of my other ones do have it. Um, this provides more strength to the onset blade. Um, like I said, kind of shows jumping up here. Um, so, you know, if the thumb does slip up, you know, at least you have more jumping to the end of the knife. You know, but you can, you can kind of choke on it, but this is not a sharpening tool, as you can see. Uh, they did add a sharpening tool, like, like this. And you can basically put more control of the blade. So, yeah, but this one you won't be able to, unless you have gloves, then you probably could. But yeah, handling is nice and all. Um, um, you could, you could go more precise on it, you know. Like that. Um, this. It's got a Tyson Islands inside of it. Uh, I think I got this broken in the wedding. I'm not completely sure. Um, but it's more drop shotting. Um, but yeah. So this is my first Benchmade I, I actually got from Benchmade that like from the secondary sales or like anything like that. This is like the actual first Benchmade that I bought directly from a actual knife store. Um, like I said, I did visit them. Um, you know, right now, right now it's COVID, so you know, um, I couldn't take a tour because if I did, I most definitely take videos with you guys but I couldn't um but yeah let me take this pink out and let's finish up this video for you guys so my thoughts on the Benjamin Mini Bushido 2 is overall it's a nice knife if you can pay the price get it um you could get the mini Kipchidian and get at the market scales for it if you want to do that, then do that. If not, get this. Um, I don't have a scale on me. I wish I did. But yeah. And then, you know, this, this is going on um, Bond's washroom. So, gunk and stuff will not get in there as easy. Well, it would still get in there, but not, it won't clog up easy like a barbarian um knife so yeah but yeah guys that's about it about this is a another home there's no flex to it of course it's been made um kind of wish they put in the custom shop because they did what have we done is do all black the red like a red um a red um, thumb stud and red uh, bell spacers just so that you know it gives it a nice pop to it um was about to get a mini freak but decided not to um or oh, super freak well super freak's not it's m4 but i wanted like a steel that where it's performed best like you know shootable but also easy to sharpen. S90, as many as you know, it doesn't sharpen as easier than S30. S30 is so difficult to sharpen, don't get me wrong, but S30 is more hard to sharpen in the field. So, so I had to go with a downgraded version of it and, you know, should work out, hopefully. But yeah. 
you guys have any questions, um, DM me on Instagram, email me at eastnewgtc at gmail.com. You can email me there. If you have no, if you have no forms of um, talking to me, you know, just um, DM me there on Instagram. Email me if you want or put those questions down below. I'll try to get to every single comment. Um, for the past few weeks, school and EMS has really, um, been kicked me and, you know, last week was, um, winter break. I was at my grandparents, couldn't bring in my knives. So, yeah. But I'll try to get to all the comments. Um, but other than that, guys, uh, oh, I forgot saying, uh, as I was recording, it's basically after New Year's, but I wish all, I, Hope all you guys have a nice holiday and a nice New Year's. Um, if if the families or friends or anything, um, and then that guys, enjoy your day. And and you know as always, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.